Hey, everybody, it's 639 here on the Kevin and Bean Show. This is Ralph Garman uh, here with Doc on the Rock, our newsman. Uh, if you hadn't heard already, there's been a terrorist act against the United States. Two large commuter planes have been crashed into the World Trade Center approximately 18 minutes apart. Uh, we're reporting it live. We're with as many details as we have. Doc, what do we know so far? Well, it's incredible. It was just happening as our 6 o'clock news began. I looked up at the TV screen. I thought it was a high-rise fire. A towering inferno would have been bad enough right. in the 110-story World Trade Center. Then the word came a plane had struck it. Then 18 minutes afterward, a second plane struck the other tower of the Twin Tower structure, which is like 1,350 feet tall. Right. And they say definitely it could not have been coincidence. And now we're learning the disturbing news that a New York to L.A. flight and an American Airlines jet out of Las Vegas were both reported hijacked. And that, well, it's possible that the first plane was a 740, not a 747, excuse me, but a 757 or an Airbus. We had an eyewitness to this. Gene Yerman lives in a building near the World Trade Center. There was this uh, sonic boom, and the TV went out, and I thought maybe that the Concorde was back in service, because uh, I've heard about those sonic booms. And I got up to my window. I live in Battery Park City, right next to the Twin Towers. And I looked up, and the side of the World Trade Center exploded. And then, of course, the stunning, to anyone's mind, uh, occurrence of the second plane, which has been seen on videotape if you're near a TV, right. striking the other tower. Casualty estimates can't be made. I noticed that helicopters are not flying around the towers attempting to fight the fires. They say there may be a 1,000 people hurt. Six people are, are known dead. Of course, the World Trade Center was the sort, uh, excuse me, the scene of the 1993 bombing in the lower part of the building, which was a terrorist act. The FBI is saying this is definitely foul play, not coincidence. George W. Bush has alerted all appropriate agencies of the government. He's in Sarasota, Florida, where he was about to make an education speech when he got this piece of news and said that he had sent the government now on a mission. If we can get that tape. I'll go to help the victims and their families. And, the, and to conduct a full-scale investigation to hunt down and to find those folks who committed this act. Terrorism against our nation will not stand. And now if you join me in a moment of silence. At the end of which he said, God bless all those who may have been victims of this. I'm just seeing a flash on the screen that air traffic out of LAX is going to be delayed until 3 this afternoon, which will affect a lot of people in this area. And of course, that one flight that was apparently hijacked by who knows who, there's been no claim of responsibility, may have been bound for LA. The other one may have been out of Las Vegas. At any rate, in a coordinated attack, within 18 minutes, two aircraft hit the two towers of New York's World Trade Center. We haven't heard the last of this. And we heard from CNN, Doc, that one of the planes apparently was an American Airlines Boeing 767 out of Boston as well, one of the other planes. Okay, that may have been my error that it was a New York-L.A. flight. It's a Boston-L.A. flight, you're correct. Right. And the other flight apparently may have come out of Las Vegas. Uh, the first plane apparently hitting around the 85th floor, I understand, and the second one on the 65th floor. Yeah, and that means that the people above are trapped... And uh, the firefighting is hindered because there could be anything else. We don't know what happening. And also that New Yorkers may not be able to see what's going on. That is where the giant TV transmitters of the New York channels are located. Now, I know obviously all the New York airports have been closed as well as the Lincoln Tunnel. So uh, yeah. New York City obviously has just been shut down. And L.A. people will be very concerned about loved ones who may have been on those flights either from Vegas or from Boston. Now ordinarily the FBI in this kind of situation, wouldn't they assume, I mean, wouldn't their fear be that there could be additional terrorist uh, actions across the United States, not just Naturally there will be a heightened state of alert, but we haven't heard any specifics on that, partly because we're talking to you now. So let me get back to the news. All right. Thank you, Doc. Well, uh, you heard it. I'm sure you're seeing it if you're near a television set. A terrorist act against the United States. Two commuter jets crashed into the World Trade Center 18 minutes apart. Uh, one about the 85th floor, another about the 65th floor. Uh, people are saying it's the worst terrorist act, act ever committed against the United States of America. Of course, we will stay on this story. We'll try to get as many more details as we possibly can. And uh, we'll break back in as soon as we know more here on the world-famous K-Rock. 652 here on the world-famous K-Rock. This is Ralph Garman from the Kevin and Bean Show. Kevin and Bean are on vacation. I'm here with Doc on the Rock, our newsman. Apparently, this act of terrorism against the United States of America has escalated. We have a fire at the Pentagon 
and another fire at the Washington Mall, as far as we know. Uh, Doc, any more details of what's going on? I was listening to CNN, and I'm trying to queue up a bit of tape in which I don't have time now to do this on the air, right. in which it was described that at the Pentagon, outside Washington, a helicopter was seen circling the building. The witness reported it went down behind the building and he saw a ball of flame. The Pentagon's been evacuated. We don't know the extent of fire or damage there. The fire on the mall in Washington could also have been uh, the product of an airplane. We don't know. We haven't had any reports on that, but that the White House, and the president wasn't there anyway, is being evacuated. To recap, for those of you just waking up, the astounding story that two large jet aircraft, apparently hijacked airliners, one out of Boston, one out of Vegas, crashed into the two towers of the World Trade Center in New York within 18 minutes of each other. And then we learned that Washington has also been attacked in what is clearly the worst and most coordinated program of terrorism against the United States in history, and no one can do anything but speculate as to the source. We do not have a claim of responsibility. Something from the Mideast, something from bin Laden, or the gang that originally attacked the Trade Center in 1993 is always a possibility, right. but there was no heightened alert, no intelligence briefings indicating something was brewing, and again, we don't know what will happen next, if anything. We do know that now the FAA has ordered a halt to all commercial air traffic in the United States. No planes will leave. Those in the air will land. But that's it till at least 3 o'clock our time today. LAX is going to be closed. If you have plans to travel, obviously they are changed now by forces beyond your control. Casualties, we just don't know. It could be in the thousands in the Trade Center. We just got some information, and apparently it was a plane that crashed into the Pentagon. Yeah, well, we had a helicopter as the report. There are two differing ones. Right. Uh, but in any case, an aircraft. As for the fire on the mall, which is near the White House, of course, uh, we can only presume that it has... To some connection with these other events. And we have no specific location on where that fire is on the mall, right? No, not how close to the White House. And you mentioned the White House has been evacuated. The president was... Pentagon uh, also. Yeah. Pentagon has been evacuated also. Uh, the president was in Sarasota, Florida That's when this correct. happened. That's correct, and he already spoke this morning saying the U.S., of course, will do everything it can for the victims and do everything it can to track down and punish those responsible. And he's but headed right now back to the White House? Where, where would he go if not to the White House? If he's, he's headed back to Washington, I understand. I would right? presume so, though he will probably be at some kind of government command post set up elsewhere. Doc, let me ask you, you might know, why the World Trade Center? Why is this? Pl why is this these buildings the target of such uh, terrorism? Well, of course, it is a center of international trade. So right. the repercussions around the world of any interruption or damage to the Trade Center. Also, they're the tallest buildings in New York. They're 1,350 feet high. The biggest targets. Yeah, and yeah. both targets were hit. Right. Okay, Doc, well, I'm sure you'll stay on that story. We're going to yeah, try to find some no more kidding. details as well. Uh, you're listening to the world-famous K-Rock. It is now uh, 6.55. Terror from the sky stuns America, and the toll in lives lost, people injured, is not known, nor is the source. But here's what happened just a little over an hour ago. A commuter airliner, so it was described, a large twin-engine jet, possibly a 737, crashed into one of the towers of New York's 110-story World Trade Center. 18 minutes later... A second airliner crashed into the other tower. It is burning in the high stories, and apparently putting out that fire may not be possible at present as the terrorist attacks continued at the Pentagon in Washington. An aircraft, possibly a helicopter, circled the building, then dove, and there was a burst of flame. Speaking to people uh, here at, uh, at the Pentagon as they're being evacuated, from the building, I am told by several people that there was, in fact, an explosion. I was told by one uh, witness, uh, an Air Force enlisted, uh, senior enlisted man, that he was outside when it occurred. He said that he saw a helicopter circle the building. He said that it appeared to be a U.S. military helicopter and that it disappeared behind the building where the helicopter landing zone is. Excuse me. <clears throat> and that he then saw a fireball uh, go into the sky. That's the report from Washington. Back in New York, we are learning that two hijacked jets may, been, may have been involved in the coordinated terrorist attacks, and that is what they clearly are, according to all government sources. The question is, who did it? 
and we don't know. The Mideast, always a possible source of terror and trouble, but no linkage yet, no claim of responsibility. As for those airliners, and they were, one may have been a flight from Boston to LAX. The other may have been hijacked out of Las Vegas. That second plane identified as an American Airlines plane. All flights have been suspended in and out of all airports in the United States because of the threat of further terror from the skies. As to other news, not much to say except another air story. Air Jordan. Michael Jordan may resume playing in the NBA for the Washington Wizards. And Gary Condit is off one legal hook. A grand jury in Northern California refusing to indict him for attempting to obstruct justice by getting an airline stewardess to lie about their relationship. The Angels, by the way, lost to Seattle, and we will have a partly sunny day with highs in the 70s and 80s later. It's 63 at K-Rock. Rock on the Rock. The Kevin and Bean Show. KROQ-FM, Pasadena, Los Angeles. L.A. and Orange Counties. Only new. Rock. You're listening to the Kevin and Bean Show on the world-famous K-Rock. It is 7.04 in the morning. More details coming in about this terrorist attack on the U.S. Obviously, the uh, the biggest and, and best planned terrorist attack ever against this country. Uh, they're saying now that the South Tower of the World Trade Center has either collapsed or there's been a second explosion. Doc, do you have any more details? We are watching a rollback of videotape taken, and apparently the upper floors of that tower are simply gone, whether due to structural damage from being hit by a big airplane a twin-engine jet at least, or whether due to fire and explosion within. Uh, but now it appears in pictures on the television as though there's only one tower. But the cloud of smoke obscures everything. To recap, for those who've just woken up, within 18 minutes of each other, two aircraft hijacked, we presume, by the terrorists, struck the two towers of the huge World Trade Center in New York. Then an aircraft crashed into the Pentagon outside Washington. And we've uh, got one of our Washington affiliate stations on the line. Can we talk to Bob there? We have Bob Waugh from uh, WHFS in Washington. Bob, you there? Yes, I am. How you doing, guys? Good, Bob. What can you see from there? Uh, it's pretty bizarre. I mean, I, I don't know how to describe this except surreal. Um, you know, came into work this morning, uh, heard about a plane possibly hitting the World Trade Center, turned on the TV, and kind of went about business as usual. Um, got on the phone with a friend of mine at the Washington Redskins just trying to get some tickets for this weekend's game. And right. he happened to be driving by the Pentagon at the time that uh, the flume of smoke went up there. So I, we've, you know, uh, just gone to talk radio as, as a music station much like yourselves and are just trying to deal with it. It's, it's really pretty frightening. It's... Uh, how close are you to the Washington Mall, Bob? Um, we're about five miles away, but... So you can see the smoke right. from there? See the plume of smoke outside my office window? Right. How close is that area of the mall, Bob, if you can hear me, uh, to the White House itself? Uh, the area um, where the damage happened is actually at the Pentagon, so it's just across the river, um... Not very far as the crow flies, yeah. Although just because a couple we, of miles. Yeah, we get that. We have maybe confusion on this. We have two reports of separate fire in uh, the Washington area. The one across the river at the Pentagon, really on the Virginia side, and the other on the Mall itself, coming up towards the White House and Capitol. I don't uh, know if those are cr correct or not. Yeah, that's not something uh, I can see from where I am. But. Okay. We do know that the White House and State Department office buildings have been evacuated. The president, of course, was in Florida and is racing back to Washington now to help with evaluating what happened. And, of course, the question of response remains moot right now. Yeah, they said uh, to a large part if they were to uh, send any military forces into uh, New York and or Washington, it would be basically for the protection of the pop pop population or so than uh, any kind of response to any potential threat. city of New York has declared a full terrorist alert. Again, for many people, even the most disinterested, the effect nationwide is that the FAA is canceling commercial airline flights for much of the day. No takeoffs, landings, of course, of planes that are in the air, but... To reduce the risk of hijacking, they have to do this. Two planes were hijacked, one out of Boston, we believe, the other out of Las Vegas, 
and flown to conduct this coordinated act of terror. And now the horror of the building collapse in one of the towers. Doc, for people who are planning trips today, is it until further notice that the airplane... Uh, the airplane I, had one, I had one flash that LAX would not be handling air traffic till 3 p.m. our time, mm -hmm. but that could change. Obviously, we are one-armed paper hangers in our little music station in terms of gathering the news, but we'll keep at it. Right. We're doing our best to gather the uh, details as they come in. Bob Waugh from Washington, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. And uh, good luck. Uh, God bless everything that's going on out there. Thanks. All right, we're here at uh, we're here at K Rock. It's a it's just a horrible thing. It, you don't realize sometimes you can get uh, a false sense of security being an American, and you think that uh, these kind of things happen elsewhere in they the world. They could have done this any day had they the suicidal, and it obviously was determination yeah. uh, to attack America. And of course, that is everyone thinks immediately a characteristic of Middle Eastern acts of terror. Mm -hmm. But no group claiming responsibility on any source I can get. Now my computer's down on the uh, CNN uh, hard copy channel, so I've got to go deal with that. I hope that's not part of this. Okay, Doug, we just got some word in. Uh, the South Tower, apparently, of the World Trade Center has indeed collapsed. God help us. Unfortunately, uh, the, apparently, they were looking at the videotape. People were seen jumping out of the upper floors as the building uh, crashed to the ground. The number of people on each floor of those buildings can be in the hundreds, and this is a 110-story structure. Not to mention uh, whatever smaller buildings would be, you know, to either side Beneath, of the Yes, of the and tower. by the Beneath. way, another thing that's not happening is trading on any of the New York exchanges for those in involved in business. So the stock market has been suspended? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're here at the world-famous K-Rock. It's 7.10 in the morning. We are trying to gather details as quickly as we can. We will have more for you uh, when we get back right after this. You're listening to the Kevin and Bean Show here in the world-famous K-Rock, 7.18 a.m. For those of you who are just waking up, it's... Uh, I can't remember a more horrible story. The uh, United States has been under attack from a terrorist threat. Two airplanes, large commuter jets, have been crashed into the World Trade Center approximately 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the second one about 9.18. Now apparently the South Tower of the World Trade Center, the top half of it, has collapsed into the streets of New York, as well as two other fires currently uh, at the Pentagon, where we've had differing reports, one saying a helicopter, another saying an airplane was crashed into the Pentagon, a fire there, and another fire on the Washington Mall, apparently somewhere near the uh, White House, close enough to have it evacuated at least. Ralph, this is Doc on the Rock, and we have another report which can't be confirmed, and it may be confused with the fire on the wall in, uh, excuse me, on the mall in Washington, mm -hmm. and that is the possibility that someone attempted to crash an aircraft into the U.S. Capitol building. However, we're getting no follow-up on that. What I do have is a bit of tape from a CNN reporter in lower Manhattan covering the crash of the two planes, which were hijacked from other locations, into the World Trade Center's Twin Towers, and then, and this is the most horrifying, I think, in a way, the collapse of one of the towers. Okay. At least its upper portion just gave way. My car, our colleague Jennifer Westhoven uh, also just arrived. She was closer to the building. I'm just south of Canal Street, about 10 blocks north of World Trade Center. And just before 10 o'clock, parts of the building began peeling away. People started screaming. Jennifer tells me, because she was a little closer to the building, that uh, the police began yelling, run, run. And uh, thousands of people started running away from the buildings as they were falling. That was, of course, followed by a onrush of avalanche, I mean, ambulances and uh, special police vehicles. Some people have told us, although I can't confirm this, that dozens of stories of the building have fallen away, maybe down as low as the 30th floor. And that is more or less confirmed now by all our wire service reports and by the, the horrifying sight of these two huge 110-story office buildings, one of them now truncated. And it looks like there's only a single tower in lower Manhattan. Who did it? is the obvious question. President Bush in Sarasota this morning promising full efforts to relieve the suffering and full efforts to find and punish those responsible. There's talk on various news stations of a possible Palestinian link. No direct claim of responsibility that I have heard, but the U.S. has, well, people who hate us all around the world, and if determined enough to die... You can take way too many people with you. And a speculation, uh, Osama bin Laden also, his name has been mentioned in several news Well, he, reports. of course, is our bugbear, our bete noir. He has been responsible for acts of terror, the ones in Africa against our embassies, and links also apparently with the original attack in 93, the bomb in the lower portion 
of the World Trade Center Plaza. People have been tried and convicted and sent away for that. If it's Bin Laden, he may have chosen this moment uh, to take the world stage again. If it were Palestinians, of course, it would be extreme groups opposed to peace with Israel and the U.S. involvement. Other possibilities seem less likely, but we can't do anything but speculate without a claim of responsibility. But whoever had the ability to hijack two airplanes, at least two, possibly more, the flights in Washington, uh, they obviously were determined to make their mark on history and have done so at the cost of untold lives. Uh, and we... the add-on that air traffic in the United States has ground to a halt by order of the FAA to prevent any more incidents. Right. The immediate local effect here in the Southland, if you're planning to fly this morning, all airplanes have uh, have been grounded, at least for the time being. I've heard uh, talk about 3 p.m. perhaps being a time where the LAX might reopen. That's what they're flashing on the screens for LAX. We've got an anti-terror alert in most of the major cities, in most of the major high-rise buildings. LAPD on tactical alert here. I know the Sears Tower in Chicago has been shut down. Several other large buildings also have been evacuated. Uh, we just got word that approximately 50,000 people work at the World Trade Center at any given day. So yeah, no word on how many. Uh, it was 9 o'clock there. Everyone was ready for business. Uh, apparently, including the terrorists. Here in the Southland, LAPD is now on tactical alert. An anti-terrorist unit is being mobilized throughout the city. So uh, apparently there's some real concerns that the, here in Los Angeles we could be a target as well. Well, the nation's capital, obvious target. To try to strike the major government buildings, all of them, Pentagon, something near the White House or Capitol, and then the World Trade Center as the most visible building in New York and to the world, uh, center of television coverage as well. Obviously... They want to send a message, but other than we hate and kill, there's been no message yet. Yeah. Uh, Doc, if you want to keep looking for details, uh, you can. We have some news audio feed we're going to play here over the okay. air for people to listen to. Um, you can chime in as you like, or you can go back to uh, trying to find more stuff out uh, if you for want. For the moment, in that last attack on the World Trade Center, the terrorist attack uh, for which the attackers were tracked down and uh, convicted and imprisoned, at least some of them, uh, the plan you're listening to the best of the Kevin and Bean Show the here on the world planets, famous K Rock. Uh, the audio you're listening to is Dan Rather over on our sister station, CBS2. We're giving you the CBS news feed uh, as we get more details about what has happened. If you're just waking up, it is, uh, it's been obviously one of the most horrible days in American history. Two large commercial jets have been crashed into the World Trade Center. The first one at approximately 9 o'clock Eastern Time, around 6 o'clock here. Uh, I think at that time, people didn't know whether it was an accident, some horrible navi uh, uh, navigation problem, or if it was a terrorist act. I think it was quickly understood about 18 minutes later when the second plane plummeted into the second tower. We haven't seen replays of that tape, Ralph, but it was appalling. It is stunning to watch. It doesn't even look real. It looks like a movie or something when you're watching it. Well, uh, you can't outright life. No. But, I mean, the, the visual impact of, of seeing that plane crash into the tower is just stunning. Then shortly thereafter, about 10 o'clock East Coast time, we got word of a fire at the Pentagon where we've had differing reports, one saying a helicopter. I had an AP a reporter as a, uh, as a quote here saying that he saw the tail of a large airliner plow right into the, tele the, the, the Pentagon. So perhaps it was a plane or a helicopter. Anyway, the Pentagon is a fire to be dealt with there, and we're also getting word of a fire in the Washington Mall. As Again, well. evacuations in Washington of the White House offices the Defense Department facility at the Pentagon. Obviously, also the State and Treasury Departments. Uh, President Bush, no doubt, on board Air Force One now, heading from Sarasota, Florida, back to the nation's capital to help coordinate uh, whatever can be done. Interestingly enough, the FBI, one of the few public and uh, government buildings in Washington that has not been evacuated, they are staying on full tactical alert. Apparently, there's a section of the FBI building that is bomb-proof, they believe, and that's where they're operating out New right York now. also has its own uh, bomb-proof uh, action center. L.A. and other cities have these. They don't talk about them much to keep them uh, secure. Uh, we do have... The statement from the FBI, the earliest statement, that it was no accident when the second plane hit the World Trade Center, they said, this is foul play. Of course, the FBI is still trying to ascertain who is taking credit for this terrorist act. No one has stepped forward as of yet, as far as we know. Uh, as we get more details, of course, we will bring them to you. Uh, Doc is working on that as we speak. This is Ralph from the Kevin and Bean Show. Ordinarily, uh, you know, we do a lot of comedy and uh, that kind of stuff here on the show. Kevin Not and Bean, today. Not today. Kevin and Bean are on vacation. This is, uh, would have ordinarily been the best of Kevin and Bean, but we're trying to bring you details as soon as we get them in here at the world-famous K-Rock. Good morning, everyone. It's uh, 7.33 here on the world-famous K-Rock. You're listening to the Kevin and Bean Show. 
A uh, little different show today. Obviously, we're not doing uh, much music and talk and comedy like we usually do because um, just the most horrible day in U.S. history, as far as I can think of. A terrorist attack on the United States. Two planes, two commercial airliners have been uh, crashed into the World Trade Center. One around 9 o'clock East Coast time, another one around 9.18, and then uh, another plane or helicopter crashed into the Pentagon. There's a fire in the Washington Mall. And uh, we just heard that the second, one of the uh, tops, of one of the South Tower had collapsed at one point. We had just heard now that the North Tower is completely collapsed. It's, it's completely incredible gone. to look at the television pictures and see the New York skyline changed forever. Roosevelt's line about a day that live in infamy uh, echoes now, all these years later. Both towers of the 110-story Twin Tower World Trade Center in lower Manhattan have collapsed due to the damage, I presume, caused by two airliners being deliberately crashed in one into each tower within 18 minutes this morning. The toll in human life in those packed office buildings can only be staggering and we cannot uh, give you any details of uh, whose lives are lost or how many may be injured or the other collateral damage in lower Manhattan but it is just absolutely mind-boggling we also have other reports if you did not know the Pentagon was attacked by an aircraft there was a report of either an aircraft attack or a car bomb at the US State Department offices in Washington that came through Associated Press that possibly could be the source of the story on the mall fire in the nation's capital government buildings in Washington Capitol White House State Department all evacuated officials saying there may be more terrorist attacks President Bush says it's a national tragedy and promises to help those afflicted and punish those responsible. We have no reliable claims of responsibility. Uh, a little-known set of initials from a Palestinian group is being quoted by one station in Los Angeles, but we don't know if they picked it up elsewhere or if someone telephoned here. Those in the terrorist world and on the fringes of it We'll play this up to the point where we may have dozens of groups with no connection to these acts claiming they did it to get at uh, what some in the world call the Great Satan USA. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of uh, false call-in and threats to buildings all over the United States, too, as well, due to this. That's prompted a heightened security alert at every level of government. LAPD tactic alert. Governor Davis has convened the state's emergency council, seeing what can be done here. Buildings like Chicago's huge Sears Tower and others being evacuated or put on special guard, though other than evacuation, little can be done against the threat of hijacked aircraft, except to do what the FAA has done, which is shut down commercial...